Hello everyone again. In a previous lesson, I introduced myself and said what the course would be about. Now it is worth discussing the working environment. The obvious fact is that since we are talking about Git, we will be using repositories. However, I wanted to start by mentioning that I will be using Docker and inside the Docker container, I will be installing the Git. If you don't want to use the Docker, of course, you can use any method of widespread virtualizations. And for example, set up a virtual machine inside the virtual box. However, I encourage you to use Docker and Git inside the Docker. So let's switch to the terminal and we will begin our lesson. First of all, we need to refresh our packages. So sudo apt update and it will refresh those packages on the machine that we are currently running on. Um, in my case, it is just an old laptop that is behind my back and I'm connected to it to the SSH. And there is a Debian release 10 buster. So we will be installing the Docker there on this machine. But first of all, what we need to do, we need to upgrade the system to the APT upgrade to be sure that there is no upgrade or there is nothing to be uh, updated right and after that you can see there is no upgrade and i don't need to upgrade any package in my system excellent so the next step what we need to do is to install some packages that are required to install the docker First of all, what we need to do is just to install sudo apt install some packages like pr33k url gnu g gnu pg right package gnu package and lfb release that is what we need to install I have those packages currently installed. However, I recommend you to type those commands and make sure that those packages are installed in the system. Then we need to make a directory, sudo mcar directory, make directory hyphen v. So it means that create it. If it doesn't exist, create it for creating this directory. It will be etc apt k rings um, because if I will do this, it will show you the information that file exists. But with the p, it should create the directory, it should force it. Excellent. The next step is to I will copy the the command uh, from the text file exactly this one the url f ssl https download docker.com linux Debian gpg and we are um they are more the docker gpg keyrings override yes please because i have this file already downloaded the next command is those long one echo the architecture signed by docker gpg file and you can see the same part here debian gpg from the docker.com and lsb release the stable so we are uh, adding a stable release to the apt sources list the docker list to the docker list and everything goes to the terminal so it will be done in the background excellent now we are going to install the docker and 
packages that we are uh, that are needed that we need sudo apt install docker c docker c cli container dio docker compose plugin here we go it should install i have those packages already installed so now you need to check the status system ctl status docker and you can see the docker is running of course you can always check if it enabled is enabled if it will tell you that it is disabled so you can always do something like that enable docker command and check once again if it enabled this will start the docker with the operating system during the boot process of course there is a question how to configure git in the docker container first we need to run the container with the for example ubuntu system where we will install the git right so we will try to do this docker run and i have an it uh, if I remember correctly, no, one hyphen, one hyphen ID, hyphen name, and it will be a course number one, and Ubuntu, the latest, and um, we will run the bash. It should install, permission denied, so we need to run this with the sudo command so your user need to run sudo or you need to run all of these as root but i do not recommend it if you want to know how to make a sudo command how to add the user into the sudoers i will show you in a moment okay first of all sudo docker run it name course Ubuntu. so we are inside the docker container excellent now we need to do the same apt update we are using here as root this container okay apt update we need to wait a little bit it will download all those packages and it will refresh all of them and what we need to do then we need to upgrade it so sudo no not sudo apt um list upgrade all and you will see the list of packages that are uh that should be upgraded so we can always upgrade apt up hyphen y okay so it will update all of this without asking us for uh permission for the confirmation hyphen y always means that uh confirm everything and excellent everything is upgraded so we need to install the git apt install git but to speed up a little bit the installation we will use the flag no install we comment and it should install the git okay so you can see here you have the confirmation but i can always use the hyphen i to install it without the confirmation okay so we need to wait a little bit because the system is preparing all those packages and it's installing the git in our docker container done so now we will check the version of the git and we have a version 2.34.1 excellent so we have a running git inside the docker container really really good job let's move to the next lesson then